Tucson RV Brakes, the leader in towable safety technology. Welcome to the installation video for the Tucson Sway Control model TSC-1000. This video will provide instructions for installing the TSC on a trailer with existing electric drum brakes. The TSC can be used on trailers with one, two, and three axles. We recommend that you download and print a hard copy of the TSC installation manual to refer to as you watch this video. To download the manual, go to our website www.tucsonrvbrakes.com and click on the Resources tab, then select the Documents tab and scroll down to the TSC Documents section and select the latest Sway Control installation link. A PDF version of the manual can be downloaded and printed. You will need the following tools and materials to complete the TSC installation. A power drill with a number 10 hex bit for the number 10 self-tapping mounting screws, 1 8 inch drill bit, a wire cutter and stripper, a crimping tool, a wrench for your battery terminals, a heat gun, weather sealed butt splice connectors 14 gauge minimum, 14 gauge dual paired wire long enough to reach from the TSC to the trailer brakes, zip ties to secure the wire to the trailer frame, and a pen or marking instrument. Installation time is approximately two hours if you can safely and quickly gain access to the trailer's brake and power wiring. Installation times may vary depending on the complexity of the trailer's electrical wiring and other electrical equipment on the trailer. Also, trailers that require dropping an enclosed underbelly to access the wiring will increase the installation time. We will start by selecting the best mounting location for the TSC on the trailer. The selection of the mounting location is key to the protection and function of the TSC. The following are three important points to consider when selecting the best mounting location on your trailer. The TSC must be mounted on the trailer center line 1 to 10 feet back from the hitch ball or fifth wheel kingpin. The TSC must be mounted on a stiff, solid, vertical surface that does not flex with the label pointing up. The TSC must be mounted with the long edge of the TSC enclosure parallel to the axles on the trailer. A common mounting location is on the center line of the first horizontal trailer frame member. The TSC can be mounted on the leading or front surface or the trailing rear surface of the trailer frame member as long as the correct side of the label is in the up direction. For this trailer, we are selecting the trailing or rear side of the first horizontal frame member. Measure the width of the frame member and mark the center line on the frame. Next, adjust the position of the TSC on the frame so that the mount with this side up arrows on the TSC label are pointing to the sky and the red dot in the center of the label is on the center line mark of the frame. Also ensure that the red line on the bottom of the TSC label is parallel to the horizontal edge of the frame member. When properly positioned, mark the four mounting holes on the frame member. Next, drill 1 8 inch pilot holes in the center of the four mounting hole marks on the trailer frame member. Now align the TSC on the trailer frame and fasten the TSC using the four number 10 self-tapping screws which are included, making sure to maintain proper TSC alignment when tightening the screws down flush. The TSC requires a full-size 12 volt DC trailer battery for best performance. This would typically be a 12 volt DC marine RV deep cycle battery. Do not use a small gel cell battery or the small battery of your trailer's breakaway switch to power the TSC. Before performing any work on your trailer's wiring, be sure to disconnect all wires going to the positive terminal of the trailer battery. Also, unplug the trailer connector from the truck as well as shore power. In order to locate the specific wires needed for installing the TSC, start by following the seven-way trailer connector cable back to the junction box. The junction box is where the wires from the seven-way connector are connected to the trailer wiring. 
Different trailer manufacturers use different types of junction boxes. This is a common screw terminal style junction box which makes identifying the specific wires and functions much easier. Most seven-way trailer harnesses use a standard wire color code. In this junction box, the wires used for the trailer lights are not connected. Those wire colors are brown, green, red, and yellow. The wires that we are interested in are the blue, black, and white wires. The wires from the tow vehicle seven-way connector come in on the upper right side of the junction box. The blue wire is the trailer brake wire and comes from the brake controller in the truck. The black wire is the plus 12 volt charge line and the white wire is the ground wire from the truck. Follow these three wires as they exit the junction box on the lower left corner. The black wire should go to the positive terminal on the trailer battery. The white wire should go to the negative terminal on the trailer battery. And the blue wire should go to the trailer brakes. Keep in mind that some trailers may not use these same color wires. All wires should be a minimum 14 gauge in size. Diagram 3 shows the required connections for the white ground wires. All ground wires are connected to the negative terminal of the trailer battery. The ground wire from the tow vehicle, the white wire from the TSC, the ground wires from the trailer brakes, and a wire to the frame ground if present. Diagram 4 shows the connections for the plus 12 volt wires. All plus 12 volt wires are connected to the positive terminal of the trailer battery. The 12 volt charge wire from the tow vehicle, the black 12 volt wire from the TSC, and the hot wire from the breakaway switch. Diagram 5 shows the connections for the blue trailer brake signal wire. Follow the brake signal wire out of the junction box to where it goes back to the trailer brakes. Normally the brake wires will run down one side of the trailer to the axles where they connect to the brakes on one side and then split and run through the axles to the other side. Locate where the brake signal wire is coming out of the junction box and cut it. Then connect the end of the wire going to the junction box to the blue wire on the TSC. Also ensure that those wires are connected to the cold side of the breakaway switch as shown. Diagram 6 shows the connections of the purple and pink wires from the TSC to the trailer brakes. The purple wire is connected to the left side brakes and the pink wire is connected to the right side trailer brakes. As a reminder, the ground wires are also connected to the trailer brakes as previously described in Diagram 3. Hopkins makes a 12 gauge bonded pair wire that works well for wiring the trailer brakes. The Hopkins part number is 49975 for a 100 foot spool available at Amazon. The wire pair colors are blue and black. Since we are wiring the right side brakes, connect the pink wire to the blue wire in the bonded pair and connect the battery ground to the black wire in the pair. Locate where the brake wires go through the axles to the right side brakes and cut the wires, leaving enough wire length to be able to connect the bonded pair wires. Do the same thing to each axle, connecting the bonded pair wires to the wires going through the axles. The electric brake wires do not have a polarity, but make sure that the bonded pair remain color matched, blue and black. The left side brakes are still connected to the original brake wires going up near the TSC, where the blue brake signal wire was cut earlier and connected to the blue wire on the TSC. If the original brake wires are in good condition, you can use them to connect the purple wire from the TSC and a white ground wire from the negative terminal of the trailer battery to the other one. If the original brake wires are not in good shape, use the bonded pair wires to connect the purple and ground wires to the left side brakes like was done for the right side brakes. Be sure not to route the wiring near locations where it may get pinched by the suspension and secure the wires firmly to the trailer frame with tie wraps. As a final wiring check, verify that the connections match the summary wiring diagram shown on page 6 of the installation manual. The final step in the installation is to locate the best place to mount the TSC LED status light. 
we recommend a location on the front of the trailer where the driver can see the light in the rear view mirror while driving. We have selected the front left corner for the status light location. Route the status light cord so that it can be secured to the trailer body with tie wraps and not be allowed to dangle loose. Secure the status light using two number eight self-tapping screws. Clean the trailer surface with alcohol and adhere the oval sticker near the light which announces that your trailer is protected by Tucson Sway Control. Now we are ready to power up the TSC. We have hitched the trailer to the tow vehicle and also connected the seven-way trailer connector. The TSC requires a trailer brake signal on the blue wire to wake up. Start the tow vehicle and step on the brake pedal or activate the manual override lever on the trailer brake controller. The TSC's status light will come on and display a red and green light for the first couple of seconds and then display a slightly flickering green light if the system diagnostics determine that no fault exists. The TSC's self-diagnostic system monitors the functions of its operations and will alert the driver with a series of red flashes to identify which specific faults are present. A listing of the diagnostic definitions are on page 10 of the installation manual. We recommend that you take a moment to read through the codes to familiarize yourself with them for later reference while towing your trailer. This completes the installation of the TSC. The installation instructions and methods demonstrated in this video are detailed in our TSC installation manual. Since various trailers are configured or constructed differently, the installation and wiring process may not be exactly the same as what was shown in this video. Not to worry, Tucson RV Brakes can provide technical support by phone or email to assist with any questions you may have during your installation. If you have any questions on your TSC installation, please contact us for technical support by phone at 800-968-8766 or by email at info at TucsonRVBrakes.com.